Hey, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've introduced myself on this channel, so I thought it'd be a good idea if I did just that. I'm a speaker and facilitator living in Melbourne. Currently, we are in lockdown, so there isn't much speaking or facilitating going on, um, but that means that I've just got more time to make YouTube videos like this. I talk about things like mental health, self-improvement, um, basically things that can help us live a life that is filled with meaning, purpose, and inspiration. I also vlog occasionally. All right, post them and I check in. So if you are interested in any of that, then click the subscribe button so we can be friends. Okay, so in this video, I'm basically gonna be talking about how I've spent a full year on YouTube. And I wanna make this video to talk about the things I'm really proud of, of like what we've done in the past year. But I also wanna go through the obstacles and challenges as well as give you guys an idea of what I wanna do moving forward. I've devoted a lot of my time and attention to this channel. Um, given that we were in lockdown last year in Melbourne, Australia, and we are currently in another lockdown, number six, by the way, if you didn't already know. And so given other areas of my life, like work and whatnot, get affected, I wanna make this um, almost basically one of my big priorities over the next year. So we are going to start with things that I'm really proud of. And the first thing I wanna talk about is that I've shown commitment. I said I was going to do something. I said that I was gonna start this YouTube channel and I did and I've been doing it for a year. I have done so many things in the past before and I've started off with a lot of motivation, a lot of, lot of inspiration in the beginning, but then I've, for whatever reason, just trailed off and not really fully committed myself to it and seen it through to the end. However, this I've stayed committed to and I'm really proud of that. Another thing I'm really proud of is that I tried when I didn't want to. Living in Melbourne over the past year has just been a complete bunch of ups and downs. Like we are on the sixth lockdown. Like it's just, there's no consistency with anything at all. And so I feel like as these lockdowns have been all over the place and Melbourne in general has just been all over the place, I have also been all over the place. And there's been times when I've videoed a video and I've just been dying inside. And I'm really like, not that that's a good thing, but I'm, I'm just really conscious of the fact that to put out a video be consistent even when I internally don't feel like I want to make a video or release a video. I think it takes, um, it takes, it takes a lot of guts and a lot of strength to do that. Another thing that I'm really proud of is that I've managed to get to a point where I can actually be consistent and release a video a week. I try to shoot too far in the beginning and so I was uploading like, I think one or two a week. Um, I think this was when we were in like the heavy lockdown in Melbourne. And so I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just go crazy. And I realized that I couldn't sustain that because one, I wasn't used to making videos. And two, it just took me really long to make videos and then also come up with content. And so it's like, it just wasn't sustainable. And so it got to a point where it was just too much work for too long. It was like, you know what? I'm just gonna release a video whenever I can. And so it ended up being a video, like maybe one every fortnight. And then I think it, I think at one point I took a break for like three weeks. So it's like, I've been battling with consistency for such a long time. And then only recently um, have I actually managed to get out one video a week. Um, and I'm really glad that I've been able to do that. And the last thing is that I managed to provide value and I'm really happy that I can. Like, it's good being in the self-improvement, personal development space. Um, and it's one thing giving advice. And the other side of that is like, well, do you know enough about it? And do you know whether or not, and do you actually believe that it actually works? And I'm really glad that I believe that it works and that a lot of people have benefited from it. Like I've been getting so many messages from a lot of my friends and they're really, they're really proud of me and they're really happy that I've like taken this step. And I'm I'm actually really grateful for their support. Like I said, I've, I'm sure I've said this in another video, but I've thought that people wouldn't support and people wouldn't be down for this type of stuff. And the amount of support that I've gotten from friends that I hadn't spoken to in ages is just, it's, um, it's really nice. So now that I've like, now that I've kind of like inflated my ego by talking about um, all the things that I'm really proud of, we're gonna, 
we're gonna kind of like, I'm gonna bring myself back down again and talk about all the challenges and obstacles that I have faced. This consistency is the biggest thing that I've struggled with. It means so much in so many different realms. And I think if we can get that right, it just means such a, it means such a big deal. And so I just wanna name that I have struggled with consistency and that has been the biggest challenge um, for me over the past year. Another thing that I've been struggling with is organizing my content. So you guys see, you guys see the front end stuff and you like you see the output of these videos and you don't see what's happening on, on the back end. I am, when it comes to creating content, I'm like a complete mess. I'm like all over the place. Like I'm getting my content inspiration from here, there and everywhere. And it's just like, in my head, it's an organized mess, but even it get, even sometimes for me, it gets to a point where it's like, I don't even know what, how someone or even myself can actually make sense of what's actually going on in the back end. I'm currently using Notion and I've watched enough videos on it to know, I think I know, I, th I think to know what to do to kind of organize myself effectively, but I just haven't got around to prioritizing the time to dedicate to Notion. I feel like I use Notion to about maybe 10% of its capacity of what it could actually do and how it could actually organize my life in a really effective way, especially when it comes to content creation for like all the platforms that I create content for. If I did focus on it, I'd be so much more efficient on the other end, on the, on the, on the back end of stuff. So it probably is something that I need to focus on in the future. And the last thing I wanted to mention was that I believe I'm a hypocrite to some extent. A lot of the content that I deliver, I don't do myself for the most part, I try my best. I talk about productivity, I talk about being inspired, I talk about mental health, and there's a line between, bro, you need to lift your game, and bro, you need to cut yourself some slack. And I've done a lot of reflecting. I've thought about it, I've written down notes. I've like dived deep into the grooves of my mind. And I have figured out that without a doubt, I am very much on the side of, bro, you need to lift your game. And so in essence, the challenge for me is to bridge the gap between what I practice and what I preach. I think people for the most part try their best, but just as a self-reflection, I think I'm pretty sure I could be doing a lot better. And so going forward, I'm going to bridge this gap. That's what I'm gonna focus on for the next year. I'm gonna try and bridge this gap because I feel like I feel like if I did implement majority, I, I implement some of it, but I'd love to get to a point where I implement majority of it too. I want to up the color grading and I'm going to challenge myself to video in either S-Log3 or HLG or whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna have to watch a few videos on that and learn how to color grade it. Another thing that I really wanna focus on going forward with this channel is putting out more content related to mental health. Like I feel like, you know, obviously like, you know, the pandemic's been around for a while. We thought, you know, things would end, but clearly that's still such a big deal. And I feel like, especially with the work that I've been doing and the times that we have been out of lockdown and I can go see the, the young people that are out there in the world, I've noticed that it's just, it's getting worse. It's harder for students to be organized. It's harder for young people to kind of pick themselves up and be mentally resilient. And so I want to develop and deliver content around mental health so that I can provide some value and, you know, start focusing on what's probably going to be the next pandemic. Mental health is something that I care about deeply. It's because I've experienced it myself, anxiety, depression and whatnot. Um, and I know just how bad it feels to be in that state. And when I see and know of someone in that state, it's like, like it hurts and like, I want to help. Making these videos is one of the ways that I'm going to extend a helping hand in a way. And that's it. There's obviously a few other things that I want to do, but I'm gonna keep it as a surprise for you. By the way, if you haven't already, check out this video. I did this Q&A before and it was just a way of kind of me celebrating one year on YouTube. It's quite a big milestone. So yeah, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye.